Hello, this is Ken with Integris. Uh, you want to stay tuned today. Uh, this is important. So my question is, is where is your website really being hosted? And this is an important question because everything matters when you're building anything on the internet. You need a fast hosting company. You need one that's going to be able to serve up information reliably and consistently. And so cheaper hosting oftentimes does not equate to that. Uh, it saves a little money in your pocketbook, but you often lose a lot more money in uh, sales, conversions, and overall reputation. So there's this common uh, issue uh, within the web development world where companies tend to use cheaper hosting so they can have higher margins. The problem is cheaper hosting is good for them and their bottom line, but it's not so good for you and your bottom line. So what you need to do is you need to find out where your website's being uh, actually hosted. And trust but verify. I mean, if you've got a hosting company you like, or a web development firm that you like, then great. Great. Stick with them. But verify where everything's being, uh, where everything's at. So here's a tip. Go to IPlocation.net. Again, that is IPlocation.net. And simply type in your domain name. That's your web address. Uh, scroll down the page, and voila, it's going to tell you where your hosting is located. Now, ours, for example, is at uh, Google. So let's say, for example, it's not Google, and let's say that it's uh, GoDaddy. Well, if you go to GoDaddy's website, you're going to see they have multiple tiers uh, within their solution. They've got very basic uh, shared hosting. They got VPS and they have dedicated solutions too. And then it gets, you know, you also have cloud hosting. It, it just gets more and more complicated as you go through. But this is going to help you generally identify where your website's being hosted. Now, this was inspired because two years ago, um, we were doing consultation with a, another company and they wanted us to investigate, you know, where their current websites are being hosted, their condition, things like that. And what we found out was this pretty decent sized firm. Uh, was using pretty poor hosting. So that, that's the first tip, and you need to be able to go through there and check that and then use that to equip yourself to make sure that your website's in a good place. Uh, very upfront with what we do. Uh, we host with uh, WP Engine, and WP Engine in turn builds the gateway to Google. And so we've been very happy. We've seen like a 20 to 30% speed increase since we moved over from uh, Rackspace in uh, 2018. They were once really good, uh, but, but there's been issues, you know, with some of their transitions. So we, we started experimenting and then moving over. Uh, but anyway, you want to know this thing. The other thing that you want to do is, in our opinion, you want to avoid any EIG companies. Now, this is very interesting because, you know, a lot of times when you're looking at hosting, what you do is you go look at reviews of the company, right? And you go, okay, can I trust this company? And what's their uptime guarantee? And how does all this work? And so you ask these questions and, and you're assuming that, at least, at least it's common to assume that, you know, everything's just, you know, pretty straightforward of how it works. But what we found out was something very interesting. Um, EIG owns companies like Bluehost and HostGator and HostMonster and, you know, just, just Google EIG companies. And what you're going to find out is they're really all under the same umbrella. Well, the reviews before the acquisition and after the acquisition, they, they may be interesting if you start looking into that. Uh, for us, before uh, we were running a test at HostGator, for example, and we were running this test at HostGator. Uh, it was doing really good for a while, it was like a year, 18 month long test. Uh, but then there was like this blanket of 24 to 48 hours downtime. And it was during this acquisition. And I mean, it just like, it blew us away. I mean, their phone systems were down, everything. And since then, you know, it's just been a trickling of uh, noise and issues related to uh, EIG based companies. So for us personally, we would never recommend that you do it, and we recommend that you do not do it. And so you might want to hold on to this list for your reference in the future. The other thing I want to talk to you about is uptime guarantees. Uptime guarantees, they are deceptive sometimes. Uh, for example, if you ever see them where they say, we give a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. Sounds pretty good, right? But be careful because a lot of these guarantees, they're based on a monthly usage, not an annual usage. And so what you're thinking is, is, hey, you know, I'm going to be down at most a few minutes a month or a year or whatever. 
but that's not the case. Uh, to use the example with HostGator back in 2012, we had that 48 hour downtime. We were only credited back one month for our test, one month, not the year. So if we were running like serious businesses and serious situations on there, and there was 48 hours of downtime, which would in turn be 48 hours of lost revenue for our clients, I mean, whatever the fee was would not justify what the downtime was. And so it's a little bit of a bait and switch and you gotta be really careful about these uptime guarantees because it's always been my contention that you've got to watch out for anything that you're buying online. Remember, what they're doing is trying to build their company. They're not so worried about your company. They're providing you with something to fulfill a need, but that need may not be the one that you need to succeed. Okay, that, that was kind of crazy, but, but there you go. Uh, so anyway, that's the trick of the day. Go to IPlocation.net, find out where your website's hosting. Do not settle, do not settle for proprietary hosting, or we know this is good, or don't worry about it, or it's top tier hosting. Mm, you can't do that anymore. Because remember, if they can, if they can buy their hosting, uh, you know, 60, 70% less than good quality hosting, they're just increasing their margins and they're lowering your potential for success. So I uh, hope that helps you out. Oh, by the way, we just got back through doing a big tour all over the Northeast. We visited uh, popular places, everything, and I've integrated those into some future videos. So make sure to like or subscribe, stay with us, and then go back and look at some of our other uh, videos on how to set up a good marketing campaign for your online success. I've included some download forms and things of that nature, and I'm trickling in information as I go. But be sure to subscribe to us and be sure to follow us because these tips will help you out and help you grow. Because the majority of businesses fail on the internet. The internet is not a place of just success. Uh, it's a place of, a, it's a shipwreck. And very few ships get through this shipwreck. And so we wanna help you get through it. And uh, that's why we're offering this education. So uh, thanks so much for listening. I really appreciate it.